You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, happy Friday to you all. Yes, we got another Friday. Isn't this nice? And uh, before I get going and introducing our guests and everything else, listen, boys and girls, we're always talking about this. When you are driving, and right now, the rain, the snow, the sleet, it's all liquid sunshine, but it's coming down, it's coming down hard. Now, when, please, slow up your vehicles a little bit, for you do not hydroplane, and leave at least one car length from you to the car in front of you, because if they have to stop, you don't have time to get control of your vehicle and stop. Slow up. Take the time. You're going to be happy. You, wherever you're going to get to, you're going to get there, and you're going to be glad that you did. Okay? Did you say one car? One car. Isn't it one car or two cars, Joey? I'm talking on the freeway? Yeah. Probably like four. Yeah. <laughs> really? That far? Yeah. See, I'm still on New York time here, so it's four Where cars. you guys ride each other's... Bumpy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Four cars. Keep it for cars. And that was Joey R. Board Up, and he's with us today, and he's on the ring-a-ding-dingy telephone, and he'll be back in a moment. But anyways, just slow up, guys. Make your life simple, okay? All right. Now, since we got that all done, I am so, so excited about the show today. We have Joyce with us. And if everybody read my post yesterday and read it today, you're going to see a little bit about her. And Joyce is going to be talking about the new book that she's releasing pretty soon. And is gluten-free for me, question mark, then 21 tasty recipes. She is going to be talking about her bounce to health well, I can't talk. Wellness Center. We're going to be talking about that. She brought some goodies in for show and tell. We're going to be talking about that. And then, and again, Gail Kelly. Yes, our Gail Kelly from Annis Lennons. She's going to be calling in. And us ladies are going to be talking about all the new kitchen gadgets they got, all the new colors for springtime. So we're going to have fun. And our Mia. Yes, our Mia. Sometime through the program, she hopefully will be calling in, and she can get on to that. So, without any further ado, Joyce, <laughs> welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Bev. I'm so happy to be here. This is a real honor, and I feel like I've known you forever, and we've talked, what, 45 minutes? Seems something like that, about <laughs> 45 minutes, 45 years, you know, what, right. what, whatever it was, you know what I mean? Time is irrelevant. Yes. It is. I'm just thrilled to be here. And I did ask you ahead of time. I found you through my darling son and his beautiful Leanna. And they're listening. It's going to make me cry. They're so cute. Look at me. <laughs> I'm verklempt. Yes. And I just started. Anyway, a big shout out to Mark and Leanna. Drive carefully. Keep your eyes on the road and don't laugh too hard. We love you. Hi, Mark. Hi, Anna. Welcome Leanna. to the show. Oh, Leanna. Leanna. Ex- thank you. That's my bleep in the blunder for today, but I corrected <laughs> it that a quick. Don't you You're love good. that? Yes. And welcome to the show. And thank you so much, you Mark, for telling your mama about me. You You're part of our family now. And I hope you enjoy this. And if you want to call in, since your mama is here, the phone number is 888 888- Nine zero nine ten fifty. Again, that number is eight 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 nine zero nine ten fifty. You want to call, darling? Get your car off the road and park it. <laughs> then dial in, and you'll be talking to Joe. Our board up, and he will bounce you right into us. Okay, and let's see if he calls in. That's going to be in the rest of that. Will well, he doesn't. Yeah, he'd have to pull his car off the road because he will not call me when I'm in the car. I have a Bluetooth, but he says, "Mom." Go home and I'll call you. He does not want me talking on the phone when I'm driving. It's very Brilliant. distracting. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. He's a good guy. You raised guy. him well. I did. I did. But he's a wonderful son. There really you go. Is. Plus, he's a good cook, too. Ah, I heard about the cooking thing. We're going to be talking about that, too. Yep. Yes. Now, Joyce, uh, could you please tell all of our listeners 
how did you get started, the beginning of your story, the whims and the whys, and then let's get right into the gluten and the cookbook. Right. In the beginning, beginning, I've always had a desire to help people, and I had another darling son who unfortunately got uh, juvenile diabetes when he was seven, and it was a really rough road. He had a lot of cards stacked against him, but... um, Standing and watching your your darling son be ill and not being able to do anything about it, you're wondering, what can I do? What can I do? I'm a mother. You know, I want to wrap, my, wrap him in cotton and keep him well. But it made me really start thinking about why these things happen. With diabetes, unfortunately, you can control it with insulin, but they don't know why you have it. Now, there's ty- there are different types of diabetes, and there are diabetics out there now that are type 2 diabetics that you can control with the food that you eat and the exercise that you do, and there's just there's got to be a way to make everything work synergistically together to keep you healthy, and that's why I am just passionate about trying to find a way to help people. Um, the foods that you eat, it's it's like medicine, and I think you and I talked about that. Mm-hmm. Hippocrates said, the, thy food shall be thy medicine, and thy medicine is thy food. I might have it a little twist around because I'm really excited to be here, and my thoughts get a little jumbled. But the basic thing is everybody has to really realize how the foods that you eat react to your body. Everybody reacts differently. Some people are blessed with a good metabolism like you are. <laughs> Me, um, everything I eat goes right to my Hungarian hips. And Not I a exercise. Doubt. Well, yeah, I got something that covers it up. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, everybody's metabolism is different. And you have to know, you have to listen to your body. Your body will give you signals. Just pay attention. Do your due diligence. Find out what foods affect your metabolism. And I do that. I try to solve part of those questions or answer some of those questions in my book, Is Gluten-Free for Me? Um, You know all about Mm -hmm. gluten-free from personal experience. And there's... There's a big misunderstanding. Gluten-free is wonderful. And for people that have uh, allergies and gluten intolerance, eating gluten-free, is it's a necessity. It's a way of life. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to give up your goodies. But people that are trying to release weight or keep their metabolism, metabol, metabolism at an easy keel, you have to know how the food you eat affects your body. What you eat If they're carbohydrates, if they're simple carbohydrates, if they're processed foods, it raises your blood sugar level. Your insulin and your pancreas has to to work hard to release enough insulin to balance the foods that you eat. And if you get a carb overload, you're going to have all kinds of issues. And as we get more mature... However, I think emotionally I'm going younger than older, and I feel like I'm 12 inside, but my body, I look in the mirror and it's going, what? But as we mature, our body, the way we metabolize foods, it changes, so you have to really use wisdom. I've tried to make everything I do fun because I get bored easily, and... If it's fun, you're likely to pay more attention to it. I have really easy recipes in my book. They're old family recipes that I've tried to make healthier. Um, I have wonderful seasonings that my darling son created, and I use them in my recipes. And and uh, M and L seasonings is is going to be it's going to help a lot of people. The spices that you put into your food adds the spice to your life. So um, it's just everything is combined. It's all one big happy package. Now, talking about that, I want to take a little break. If you just tuned in, you're listening to Let's Go Shopping with Bev right here on KCAA 1050, the station that leaves no listener behind. And we are talking to Joyce. Uh, her and I became instant friends on the phone. This woman is so passionate as you've seen on my post, about the the gluten and the food and the exercise and everything else. And so if you guys are listening to us, you have a chance, get a piece of paper, a crayon, magic marker, whatever you use, start shotting some notes down. Because this is a one show I do not want you all to miss. And real quick, Joyce, I want to say this. Last week we had Anna. From the Wellness mm-hmm. Center, we had Jackie from the uh, TFT Boot Camp. 
all month long, we were getting people ready for springtime about your food, your exercise, your clothing, your insurance, what to do uh, to get prepared for earthquakes, fires. We've been doing this whole segment now because pretty soon it's going to be springtime. Yes, and that's why I decided to do these programs like I did. And I hope that you all listen and you all learn something from it. And if you need some more information, you can call me at 909-797-8291. Now the commercial is done and back to Joyce. You're really good. Thank you. (laughs) I love this. You are very, very good. Well, I think because March is National Nutrition Month, uh, we should all think about marching into fitness, marching into wellness, and we're going to march into summer before you know. So let's start now. No matter what shape you're in, what condition you're in, you can always get better. It's never too late. It's never too Too late. late. And talking about marching into spring, did you... uh, you hear the story about uh, the mommy and her little four-year-old son? No, but I, would you tell me? Oh, I definitely will. Just don't tell everybody else because they'll want to, ah, let's tell everybody at the same time. There's a mama and, and her little son just turned four years old. Mm-hmm. And it was on a Saturday and the child was very excited and he's playing and this and that. And the mom looked at him and says, you look happy. Is it because it's Saturday and you don't have school? He goes, no. So the mommy says, why are you so happy? He says, pretty soon it's March and I can march into spring. And then I can march into March and then I can hop and jump and slide into spring. There you go. Get it? Got it. I thought that was That's really good. (laughs) I bet you have thousands of those little cute ditties. Yeah, you do. That's really good. One day we'll we'll have coffee and do a walk. (laughs) Right. I would love that. Now... Could I answer some questions for you? Yes, you may. Now, on uh, talking about the book, when we were going through it, before we go on, let's tell everybody about this famous book. Can can you see it? I hope there. There it is. There it is, boys and girls. We're on camera. This is the book that we're going to be talking about. Inside, you have... Beautiful photographs, recipes, all the neat goody goodies that you need. And this could even be a coffee table book. Get somebody hungry, let them read this. You'll find a good recipe, and that's how you're going to have dinner. And Joyce, how can they get this fabulous book, and when can they get it? Well, right now we have a very special offer. It's only $2.99 for a Kindle version on Amazon.com, and you just go to Amazon and type in, Is Gluten Free for Me? And it'll pop up there. And be in honor of National Nutrition Month, we're going to offer it one day only, March 21st, for free. But don't wait until then. Tell your friends about it later. You get the book, $2.99. This is so packed full of wonderful information. The first two chapters of the book are dedicated. Number one, I have a wonderful foreword by the fabulous Dr. Lad McNamara, who's a, a very, very dear friend of mine and has helped me so much in my journey to seek out health and and wellness. I've learned so much from him. But he talks about, um, first of all, gluten comes, it comes from wheat. He talks Mm -hmm. about how people have sensitivities to gluten. If you are gluten intolerant, you need to really get this book. It'll take the mystery out of it. We have a chart in my preface. I have a chart that talks about what foods are high in the glycemic index. The glycemic index is how it rates how sweet, how much sugar there is. The Mm -hmm. The food converts to sugar. From one to from a scale of one to one hundred, if you stay below fifty five you have a low glycemic food that will not give you those insulin highs and lows that you get. but um, I really think that this book is so valuable to know many parents have kids with ADHD asperger's um, ADD, and a lot of these are food borne issues. Our autoimmune system is just really messed up by the foods. The foods aren't manufactured the way they used to be manufactured. And the, and we go and talk about that a little bit. A lot of the manufacturers put things in the food that are addictive. You know, mm-hmm. the saying, you can't just eat one. What's that one? 